having a busy week, but I wanted to tell you guys about um, two movies I watched this week. I watched Mission Impossible Fallout, the sixth entry to uh, the Mission Impossible series, and uh, boy, that movie lives up to the name. It is a great movie. Um, um, it has a great third act, which actually keeps going up and up and up and up, taking it up a notch, uh, unlike some other movies where the best part is in the middle and then the, the third act kind of slows down a little bit. Um, uh, it shows us a lot of uh, Ethan Hunt, the main character, and uh, I really think it's one of the best. Um, with Total World Seed, you know, uh, Christopher McQuarrie, uh, the director, came back for this one, which is the first time a director has um, been in a, second, in a sequel or Mission Impossible. And, uh, well, he does a great job. He infuses it with a different um, kind of a mindset than what he had when he did Rogue Nation. And, uh, one of the things I like the most is, uh, even though there's a lot of action pieces, he went and did this thing where he does like long shots. Uh, you can see a lot of the screen, and the shots are beautiful. Um, I would say just go and watch it. The second movie I watched was uh, Mamma Mia 2, Here We Go Again, which it's a uh, really fun and like how the movie, uh, like the first one, it's a musical, so, you know, just know that you're going into a musical. Um, it's pretty good, um, all the actors are fantastic, and one of the best surprises I've seen is that Andy Garcia is in the movie, and uh, it's just great. Um, uh, quick weird thing is, for some reason, I started comparing, me, comparing it with uh, the Godfather 2 for a little bit because the movie follows uh, the girl from the first movie as she's uh, going through a process of reopening the hotel after remodeling or something like that and then follows the Meryl Streep characters when she was young when she actually got to the island uh, the first time um, and so you have that parallel of two different generations going through the same thing. And that reminded me of The Godfather 2. Uh, obviously, it's way less violent. Um, still fun. Um, I would say if you're looking for something lighthearted and fun and you like musicals, just go for it.